OK, looking at this equation, you can see that we've got x's on both sides of the equal sign. We've got a 3x on the right-hand side, we've got a, a 4x, or in fact a minus 4x on the left-hand side. So what we're going to do is collect the x's on one side of the equal sign, and we're going to collect numbers on the other side of the equal sign. Remember the little rule that we, we learn off by heart? You collect the x's on the side where there's more x's. Now your gut instinct might tell you, well obviously there's more x's on the left hand side because 4 is bigger than 3. But if you look very carefully you will see that you've actually got minus 4 x's on the left hand side and positive 3 x's on the right hand side. So in fact there are more x's on the right hand side because a positive 3 is a bigger number than minus 4. So be careful with this. You have to take account of the signs in front of the x's as well when you decide which side has got most x's. So I'm going to take the x's actually to the right hand side. So I'm going to leave the 3x alone. It doesn't swap sides. It doesn't swap signs. It stays as a plus 3x. And I'm going to take that minus 4x to the other side to join it. It swaps sides, so it swaps signs. So the minus 3x becomes a plus. Sorry, the minus 4x becomes a plus 4x. So on the right hand side you get 3x plus 4x. And the 9 is the only number term that we've got. There's no number term over here. So the 9 just stays where it is on the left hand side. It doesn't swap sides. It doesn't swap sign. So it stays as plus 9, which is just 9. So there's the first line. So if 9 minus 4x equals 3x, it's true to say that 9 is the same as 3x plus 4x. Let's tidy up a bit. On the left-hand side, you've got 9. On the right-hand side, you've got 3x plus 4x. That's 7x's. But I don't want to know what 7x is. I want to know what x is. So what I've got to do is go from 7x to x by simply sharing the right-hand side by 7. So if you share the right-hand side by 7, you simply share the left-hand side by 7 to keep the equation balanced. So you take the 9 and you share that by 7. Now 9 does not share by 7 to give a nice whole number. I don't want a decimal from a calculator. I'm going to leave the answer as a fraction. The answer is 9 sevenths, or if you like, 1 and 2 sevenths. 1 whole and 2 sevenths. But it also needs to be checked to see if it cancels. Well, there's no number apart from 1, of course, that goes into 9 and 7, so it doesn't cancel. So there you go. There's the answer. 9 sevenths is equal to x is the solution to that equation.